Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome along to this brief Shopify tutorial. Today, my focus is to show you how to connect a domain name from a third party domain provider to your Shopify store in just a few minutes. Okay, so just quickly before we go ahead and dive into Shopify, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and connect a custom domain from a third party domain provider to your Shopify store. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect a domain from a third party domain provider to your Shopify store. Now to do that, simply log into your Shopify store and then navigate down to settings. Here we just need to locate domains, then simply navigate up to connect existing domain. Now this is if you already have a domain that you've purchased from a third party provider. If you haven't purchased a domain yet, I'll show you how to do this shortly. You can also buy a domain within Shopify if you like. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on connect existing domain. At the moment, we're using a free Shopify domain name, but we wanna connect a professional custom domain name. Here we want to add the domain that we wanna connect with our Shopify store. Simply add www. and then add your domain. And the domain that I wanna connect for the purpose of today's tutorial is tutorialit.co. Now for the purpose of today's tutorial, we actually purchased this domain using Hostinger, which is a third party hosting and domain provider. If you currently do not have a domain name, then what you can do is click the link in the description below this video, and that's gonna take you to Hostinger, where you can simply purchase a domain name. And once you've made that purchase, you can connect that domain with your Shopify store. Now, not to worry if you already have a domain with a different domain provider, you'll still be able to follow along with this tutorial even if you use a different third-party domain provider. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click on Next, and then come down and click on Follow Settings Instructions. Here we want to locate connect your third party domain to Shopify manually. Then simply navigate down and this is the information that we want to use. Okay, so next what we want to do is log into our domain provider's account. And again, like I mentioned, I'm using Hostinger for the purpose of today's tutorial. However, you can follow along with your own hosting provider. Then simply locate your domains. And as you can see, this is the custom domain that I wanna connect with my Shopify store. Go ahead and manage that domain. Within your hosting provider, you should see the option to manage the DNS settings. So what we wanna do is manage our DNS records. Simply navigate down the page and we want to delete all current CNAME records as well as the A records if you have any. So I don't have any A records, but I have a CNAME. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And as you can see, that record has been deleted. Again, you wanna do that with all your C name records and A records. Then navigate back up and we want to add two records. We want to add a A type record and a C name type record. First, let's go ahead and click here, then come down and select C name. Then under name, go ahead and add www. And then under target, what we wanna do is add the details from Shopify. So here's the C name record. What we wanna do is copy this shops.myshopify.com. And I will add these details in the description below this video for you to easily access. Okay, so head back to your hosting provider, then paste in that target, and then keep your TTL the same, and then click on add record. And as you can see, that DNS record has been created successfully. Next, what we wanna do is navigate back over to type, make sure that you have an A record selected, then under name, make sure that you have the at symbol, and then under points two, we want to add the IP address for Shopify. And as you can see, this is the IP address over here. What we wanna do is simply copy this IP address and head back to our domain provider and then paste that IP address in here. Again, leave the TTL the same and then click on add record. And just like that, we've successfully added the A type record as well as the C name type record. Now, all we need to do is head back to Shopify and within your Shopify settings where we left off, what we wanna do is come down and click on verify connection. And just like that, we've connected our primary domain with our Shopify store. Now this connection should be instant. If it doesn't work for you, then you might need to head back to your domain provider and make changes to your DNS records. Double check that you've followed the instructions exactly how I showed you. Now, if you have a different primary domain, then what you wanna do is locate the new domain that you just connected with your Shopify store, click on that domain, and if the domain type is not the primary domain, then simply go ahead and click on change domain type and then select primary domain. As you can see, my domain that I just connected is already the primary domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on cancel. Now let's test out this domain that I just connected. Go ahead and copy this URL 
and open up a new tab on your browser. And as you can see, that domain is connected. This is a new store, so there's not much to see here. Congratulations, just like that, you've connected a third-party domain name with your Shopify store. And there we have it, guys. That is it for this brief Shopify tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about connecting your domain with Shopify, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.